hello friends so i have come up with uh, one new video so this is video is regarding the python script that how we can use the python script in a2019 so a2019 support python script or the web script so in this uh, we will go through the python script only not the web script so this was not uh, available in 11.x or the previous versions of this one so they have introduced it in a2019 only and it's a really a good feature so let's dive in and go through the python that how we can use the python script so in many uh, many cases uh, like uh, if you have to perform some action through the python script so you can run the python script through this one so let's make one new project go into the romantic i will create one more project now so you can see these all project i have done it already and all the videos are there you can check my previous videos for these things now let me create it a new project that is a python demo create and add it so let's check in a python package what the actions are available so in python script you can see they are close are their execution function execute x script and open but before starting or doing this uh, demo doing this example uh, we required some prerequisite the prerequisite that on your system you should have 3.x version of python to be installed there so i have already downloaded and installed python 3.8.2 so uh, you you should download this thing this version and install in your system before executing your script on your uh, just uh, executing your script of python there so i have already installed here so you should make it confirm that it has been installed and running you can check it even uh, just writing this command and check it whether it's running or not you can say python version so you can write it python version so you can see my python is 3.5.4 so any 3.x it's support actually so you can have the 3.8 or 3.5 or whatever so you can just check that python must be installed on your system first okay guys now come back to our program so once you will install that python in, on your system now you can run the script so i have one simple script here you can check it so here are my python file is here where i am using print me as a function and passing the string as an argument and printing and returning the string that whatever the string i am sending i am just getting it written back to it so it's a very simple but you can have very complicated uh, python script also and you can run those through this uh, bot actually so let's start it and check it so first of all what we have to do it we have to open the python actually script so there are two ways you can see on the right side i have two ways of having either you can provide the existing file the whole file path right or you can manually write the script here for the whatever the script you have to run it so there are two methods in which and you have to select the version that on which python version you are going to run so i'm running on three it support two also but i have not checked it to be very honest you have to check it yourself whether two version it support or not but i think it would if when they are giving this option so well i have done work on three so let's choose three so what we will do we will just import existing file i already have the existing file right so let's browse so if you see that i do not have this thing because the thing is it does not take the desktop file the file must be on the server where control room reside or on the cloud wherever I mean the control room is there so in a2019 you cannot run the desktop files actually so in this case what we have to do it 
uh, you can see that I do not have the Python script here in my document also it's all empty what I need I need to upload a file my path on, a, on the server first so let's click this upload file right this is a browse a file and this is a upload a file so let's upload a file and I want to upload it in my doc right and select your desktop file from here so this is python script sample file is here let's select this and upload first right so i have uploaded the file here right and it has taken now so if you will if you will browse uh, my dog you can find the file here now because it is uploaded on the server so it's taking up the server so this is the way how we uploaded all the dependencies file on the server in previously in 11 and 10 versions you will have the bot dependencies file right but this is dependent file so we have to upload it on the server first so let's import this file i have a function there right i am not putting anything manually here any script so let's apply this so the next step what we have to do we have to run a function so there are two things either you can run a function here or you can run the whole script here so the difference between them is that if you are running the script just check the script now if you are running the script you cannot pass any arguments to it it will run whole script as a function that's it so whatever the file you have uploaded here you can see import existing file it will execute this file that's it it will not take any of your argument you cannot pass any argument to the when you are executing a script it's just giving a command to execute my python file that is the only function it has so it will you have to provide so how it will grow is because whatever the session you have given here so for that session it execute that file right but it can return a argument to you so what a written type mean like if you are just a pass it's a running a script of python and it's you are returning whether the script has successfully run or not whether it's a true or false or simple an argument written you can store it and check it whether the execution is pass or fail or it's okay or not or you're getting some value out of that one so that you can do through the script but you cannot pass the arguments so we do not require the execute script but i just told you how you can use it whenever you require to execute the script and do not require to pass any argument you can use this script execute a script command so i don't need this what i need is, is the run function so execute function what it will do it will run that function actually whatever you required so in my case my function is print me right so let's copy this and uh, i will put the function name here i want to execute this function and you can pass the argument here in right now in a2019 they are allowing only either no argument or you can pass only one argument right so we can pass the argument here so what argument i will pass so let's create one argument first i will add one string here v arg string argument one just say like this okay and the value what i'm assigning is hello remand tag so this is the argument I'm passing, right? And uh, let's select that argument, argument one, and the output uh, I will assign to, let's assign to prompt assignment only, no problem. And apply this. So remember, whenever you are opening a session for the Python script, it's always better to close the session also so let's close this also so let's uh, this uh, session that's a default I'm closing this also so our function is ready our bot is ready to run 
I have saved everything I hope yes and we can run this save this part and run this part okay fine it's run but I forgot to put the message here okay let's put a message because I do not know what would be the output okay so uh, the Riman tech notification here I am just taking prompt to be shown here and apply now run again So this is how you can see the message from the board hello remanded so our python runs successfully from the file uh, okay fine okay so here i just as i told you that through the files you can do it or you can write your with the direct putting your script also let's try with direct input i just want to copy this function here All right and apply it and save so it's work as same as a file all only the difference is that if you have a small function you can write it on this manual one you do not require whole file to be there so this is how it runs hello Remantec. so it's run with that one on. so. so this is simple one a very short video I hope you would have liked it it's very easy not much complicated now the problem with this script is uh, what I feel actually is that you can have as I just told you in function you will pass only one argument and this is sometimes we require a lot, you know multiple arguments so and right now it's do not support it but there is a work around it so if in your script you required a multiple arguments what you can do it you can select the list you can create a user defined with the list one and pass multiple values to it to the list and you can pass it to it so I have not tried myself let's see if take that list or not so what you can do it you can say we are list and define the list type here A string right and create it here so I hope it will just take that string also so here you can see we have the we arg list here so you can pass the list with the arguments and in your function you take it as a multiple arguments like asterisk args and I'm not much uh, familiar with the Python uh, scripts but I know that uh, there is some arguments which you can define it like dynamic type you can pass it that one and you can then pass this script there whatever the list is coming and you can do some workaround and you know in the R script only so this is the right now workaround what I feel it here that you can pass it a list here when you require a multiple argument to be passes to the your Python script so this is all about the Python here I hope everyone would be liking you can try this list also there with the multiple arguments if anyone who knows python very well i think they can do this thing but this is the way how we can execute the python script here thank you very much guys thank you for watching my video and uh, there are lots more to come so i request you to subscribe my channel and uh, comment wherever you require that uh, i need more to you require any uh, clarification from my side or you feel that i should may you have anything 
in uh, you want some videos on some particular topic or anything on a2019 definitely i would like to publish those videos also and to show to you thank you guys thank you for all your support